Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting video for you guys today. Now, before I get into anything regarding this video as usual, I do want to let you guys know that all relevant information will be provided in the description down below for everybody to take a look at just in case you guys are interested. Now, when it comes to this actual video that I am making for you guys today, it is going to be a little bit different. And the reason why I say that is typically when I do make videos for you guys, it is always about religion. There are rare occasions where I talk about something else. But this video is going to be for a special occasion, if you will, because I'm going to direct this video towards feminists. Because in all actuality, I'm going to be honest here when I say that I think that their priorities are in the wrong areas. And here in a minute, you guys will actually see what I am talking about. The brother of Pakistani social media star Kwandil Baloch says he's proud that he killed his sister, claiming he did it because girls are born to stay home. The 25-year-old Kwandil was strangled Friday at her family home in the city of Multan in the Pakistani province of Punjab. After going on the run, her brother was later arrested. In his confession video, he expresses no regret. I am proud of what I did. I drugged her first, then I killed her, Wasim Baloch says. She was bringing dishonor to our family. Quandil rose to fame due to the sassy and increasingly political videos she posted on Facebook. Her brother Wasim claims that having his friends share her pictures and video clips was too much for him and killing his sister was a better alternative than killing himself. Now, both adored and revealed, Quandil, who was a buried Sunday, referred to herself as a modern-day feminist and had nearly 750,000 followers on Facebook. In his confession, Wasim remarks that he thinks he will be remembered with pride and honor, and by bringing honor to his family, he has earned his place in heaven. Girls are born to stay home and follow traditions. My sister never did that, he says. Now guys, this is honestly horrible. This young, innocent woman was killed for being strong and independent. She was killed for making videos on social media. She was killed for sharing pictures, if you will. Her brother had this idea that she could not do that, and he was willing to go that extra mile just to stop her by drugging her and then killing her. This is sad and pathetic, guys. This is one of those things that totally infuriates me. And again, feminists... I want to take this time to actually talk about this issue with you guys because you guys are a champion for women's rights, right? That's what you guys talk about pretty much all of the time, every chance that you get. You know, guys, since this story has broke, since this story has been made public, I have not seen one feminist talk about this issue involving this innocent woman who lost her life. I have not seen one feminist actually choose to rise up and be vocal about this issue involving this innocent woman. Now in the past guys I actually brought up an issue that was similar to this one to a feminist and you know what she told me? They have people over there dealing with that so let them deal with that. Now at that particular moment in time guys I was actually filled with anger. I was actually filled with disgust because it seemed to me at that moment that that feminist in question had no concern for what goes on with women in other countries when they have to face this barbaric nonsense. The sad part about all of this is the fact that feminists today still have this position because like I said earlier, when this story first broke, I did not see a feminist talk about this issue. I did not see feminists rise up with anger and decide to address this issue at hand. Now, this is not only disturbing to me, it infuriates me. And it really shows us where their priorities are. Because they would rather talk about what's in a video game. They would rather talk about what's on a scientist's shirt instead of talking about what really matters. This woman, this fellow feminist of theirs, lost her life because she chose to be strong and independent. She chose to be vocal on social media, and as a direct result of that, her brother killed her because her brother felt that her position was to be silent and at home. I basically want to emphasize the fact, feminists, that this is an important issue that you guys do need to be concerned about. 
So instead of complaining about what's in a video game, instead of complaining about what's on a scientist's shirt, complain about the actual problems that women are facing in other countries, especially when they can lose their life for something as simple as thinking for themselves. If you guys are going to talk about how you are champions for women's rights, well, demonstrate it. Maybe people will start taking you a little more seriously when you have your priorities in order. Now, that's all I have to say about this, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Till next time, be safe, and I thank you all for watching. Thank you.